The race is on to contain the dozens of wildfires in California fueled by extreme heat, forcing thousands of people to flee their homes. This most recent outbreak outside Yosemite National Park. ABC's Kenneth Moten is on the scene for us. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, Robin. Just an incredible scene. This fire raging all night. You can see just how much land has been charred here this morning. The fight continues to slow this wildfire and save hundreds of homes. Overnight, an entire town evacuated. More than 1,400 firefighters battling a 54,000 acre fire, threatening 1,500 structures, including homes, destroying at least eight and damaging another, forcing thousands to flee the mountain town of Mariposa. A chopper pilot capturing this footage on his helmet cam showing the magnitude of this fire just miles from Yosemite National Park. Clouds of smoke and flames seen for miles. The fire jumping highways, forcing several major roads to close. No power for all of those staying in the lodges and camping tonight. Knocking out power in Yosemite Valley, forcing visitors of the National Park to turn around during its busiest time of the year. These photos showing how the park filled with smoke in just four hours. Overnight, the governor declaring a state of emergency, the fire just 5% contained. I haven't seen these conditions in a long time. Uh, it, it's a wind-driven, slope-driven, fuel-driven fire. Adding to the challenge, the fire's rapidly changing conditions, keeping firefighters on the move. I don't think we can emphasize enough how active and erratic this fire activity is, especially with this fire. It's done stuff that we haven't, we haven't seen before. There's a lot fueling this fire after years of drought, record rainfall adding new growth, and this part of the state is dealing with a dead tree crisis. Because of those conditions, one fire official telling us this morning he hasn't seen a fire behave this way in at least 20 years. Robin. All right, Kenneth, thank you. And for more now, we'll go to Ginger. Good morning, Ginger. Oh, good morning to you, Robin. Impressive images coming from that Detweiler fire. This is a time lapse showing how far up into the atmosphere some of those clouds reach. And this is early in the week. Now, watch what's going to happen. We've got red flag warnings in place. Northern California, parts of Utah, and air quality alerts. We put on the moisture and the dry. Less than 10% humidity for so many folks through Nevada, even northern Utah all right up against that moisture in the south from those tropical waves of moisture that come in and give you the monsoon flow. That's going to form thunderstorms. With that will come dry lightning, meaning the rain doesn't make it to the ground, just lightning that starts more fires.